I can't believe this crap. This is not a paper. This is a crock of platitudes and cliches. What did you people learn in journalism school? Because it sure as hell wasn't how to put together a quality paper. Uh, uh, sir, sir, I have a suggestion. Uh, maybe we need better typewriters. It's not the typewriters, you dipshit. It's the quality of the writing. It's like you people are on crack or something. There is an editorial on the Middle East that does not use a single verb. Filthy Pete, explain to me how you can write an op-ed piece on complex global politics and not use a single verb. When people think great journalism, I want them to think the New York Times, the Washington Post, and Streetwise. Personally, sir, and I'm just speaking for myself, mind you, I think we are far superior to the New York Times. Who cares what you think? You crack your pants. <laughs> Shut up, filthy Pete. You crack your pants, too. We can't even do a simple drama review at this paper. Alice, I send you out to review Morning Becomes a Lecture at the Goodman, and all I get back is the word dropnip scrawled on a piece of paper. What the hell is dropnip supposed to mean? Dropnip. There's no critique of the acting, the production, the direction, just dropnip. Dropnip. It's almost like you people don't understand the basic concepts of journalism. What are the five W's? Um, um, is one of them wee wee? Drop that. Who, what, when, where, and why? Does that sound familiar at all, you stinking derelict? Uh, not to change the subject, but could we do a story on Mad Dog 2020? I would be willing to do the research on that one. Shut up. I want a hard-hitting expose on campaign finance reform by Thursday. Filthy Pete, get on it. I better start seeing some Pulitzers, people, or you'll all be out on the street.